Well, the election results have been met with a mixed reaction from some of Justin Trudeau's most vocal provincial opponents. In New Brunswick, Premier Blaine Higgs says the results in his province, where the Liberals won six of ten seats, are prompting him to abandon his well, opposition to the much. federal you know, carbon tax and says listen. he'll find a way to make it work. But in Saskatchewan and Alberta, there's more anger and frustration at the Liberal win. Alberta Premier Jason Kenney says he spoke with Justin Trudeau and demanded action on pipelines and a new deal on equalization. Meanwhile, the Premier of Saskatchewan's warning there's a fire of frustration burning in Western Canada, and last night's election results showed that. Scott Moe has penned an open letter demanding a new deal with Canada, and Scott Moe joins me now from uh, the province of Saskatchewan. Premier Moe, good to see you. Thanks for your time today. Good to see you, Peter. Let's start with the election results. Are, are you challenging the legitimacy of this new minority Liberal government, given those results last night? I uh, know the fact of the matter is, is this is a this is a, a, a minority government. It's a government uh, that has no clear mandate. It's a government that has no representation from the from Saskatchewan or Alberta, for that matter. And so, what we are proposing is a is a new deal and, and ultimately a new relationship and offering a, a an opportunity for the prime minister, if you will, to reset the relationship uh, that we have been experiencing over the course of the last uh, four years. A relationship that has resulted in this minority government resulted in divisions across the nation, if you will. Uh, we're at a very divisive point, a, a crossroads, uh, if you will, in, in Canada. We have a, a party that is increasing in seats in Quebec that, that doesn't want to be a part of this nation. And we have uh, a couple of provinces that do not have any representation in the government. So what we have offered is a new deal, a deal uh, that would abolish uh, the, the carbon mm -hmm. tax, a deal that would uh, um, restructure the equalization conversation, and a deal that would continue to allow uh, provinces like Saskatchewan to get their products to to market. Right. What, what's, what do you think is the incentive for Justin Trudeau? When you say it's a new deal, um, it, it, you know, it's, it sounds like you're in the position of power, and may, maybe ultimately you'll be when you're offering him the new deal. And part of that deal is no carbon tax. Well, you know that's a signature uh, part of the Liberal government. So, what's uh, what do you think the inclination is, or, or or the impetus for him to want to accept that new deal? Well, it, it's the policy direction that we have been experiencing over the course of the last four years has caused this division across the nation. Uh, we have had to answer to, to that from time to time from as the, uh, as the leader of the province of Saskatchewan, but it's precisely these federal policies that are causing uh, this division, not just in the Prairie Provinces, but, but in other areas of Canada as well. And I would urge the Prime Minister uh, to, to, set, to, set, uh, to chart a new direction, to chart a direction uh, to work with the provinces and to work uh, specifically in our case with Saskatchewan, of which I say there is a there is a fire brewing here in Saskatchewan, and and in uh, in this deal that I have put before the prime minister, I I am offering him a fire extinguisher to really uh, quell those flames and and to work uh, collaboratively with our province. Our our province spoke loud and clear last night. Uh, they are not in favor of the direction of of the nation of Canada, the policies that are coming out of our federal government over the course of the last number of years, and we need to chart a new course. Right, but other parts of the country spoke a different way, and I guess that's always the challenge of leading a national government in this country. So, uh, how you know, if, if you're Justin Trudeau, how do you make this choice? I mean, uh, he, the bulk of his support comes from Ontario and Quebec, and yeah, uh, it, it clearly doesn't come from Saskatchewan and Alberta, and to a lesser extent in Manitoba, but uh, how does he come down on your side if he's got all this support in other parts of the country? He doesn't have all of his support in other parts of the country. He has a minority government with no clear mandate that didn't uh, that didn't have the the highest percentage of the popular vote. Uh, he needs to reset his relationship, the, the relationship of the of the federal Liberal government with all of the provinces, and be the prime minister for the nation of Canada. Last night in his victory speech, the prime minister said of of voters in Saskatchewan and Alberta, "I've heard your frustration. I want to be there to support you." Uh, what was your response when you heard those words? I, I, my response was immediately uh, reaching out to the Prime Minister and we did uh, converse uh, here this morning uh, to reach out with him with precisely what he can do to support to support the people of Saskatchewan and support the industries uh, that are creating wealth uh, not only for our province but for but for uh, the entire nation and uh, we've come up with this new deal uh, here uh, this morning we've been speaking about it for months uh, up until today uh, but I would urge the Prime Minister uh, to have a look at these three items, reach out and work with myself, the province of Saskatchewan, if he truly means what he said last night in his, in his speech, that he wants to work with the people of Saskatchewan and Alberta. Well, let's work together. Let's work together to grow the economy in, in a sustainable way in our province. Uh, let's work together like we, quite frankly, have not 
over the course of the last four years. Okay, so you talked to him this morning. Uh, how did he, uh, did, did he say, okay, that sounds like a great idea, Premier Mo, I'll take you up on your new deal? Uh, we, I, I explained to him uh, precisely the, uh, the details of, uh, of, of what we will be looking for here in Saskatchewan and, and why, we, uh, why we are looking for this uh, due to uh, the unrest that displayed itself in the federal election last night. Uh, listen, and we're going to meet again in, in the near future. Uh, but, but how did he take your offer? Uh, does he, is he open to hearing it or did he say, look, Scott Moe, I have a carbon tax and it's, it's something we've campaigned on. I've invested a lot of capital in it and I'm not dropping the carbon tax. Did he say that to you? No, he didn't said none. Of, he, neither of those. He did say he was open to having a meeting to discuss how we could move forward together. And I, I, uh, I have offered this in good faith. This this deal that we have, I've offered it uh, on on behalf of the people of the province. And I urge the prime minister uh, to have a have a look at it. And I urge him to start moving forward on a number of these items. What would replace a carbon tax if if uh, if he accepted your deal and there was no carbon tax imposed on Saskatchewan and you're fighting that in court? What would replace it? I would re what would replace the carbon tax is what we are doing in the province already in the way of emissions reductions. And that is what the conversation is around. It's around uh, climate change. It's not around uh, taxing our, our industries. And in our province, 70 cents of every dollar is exported. Uh, and we have some of the most sustainable industries, respectively, uh, in the world operating right here in, in the province of Saskatchewan. Agriculture, crop agriculture being a carbon neutral industry. The energy industry pulling carbon out of each and every barrel uh, that is being exported out of this province. And we have the cleanest mining industry in the world. Uh, we most certainly are a model on how to address climate change, how to reduce emissions uh, without taxing our industries that are, that are operating and employing people in our communities across the province. We have said that time and time again to Minister McKenna in years gone by. We've said it to the Prime Minister, and now I would urge the Prime Minister to engage wholeheartedly in this conversation of recognizing uh, what we are doing in the province already. What do you think are the consequences? You've talked about the, the, the current level of, of frustration and alienation. What do you think of the consequences of, uh, of the Prime Minister not taking you up on this new deal you're offering him? Well, the, the, the frustration that I see across the province as I travel is... is, uh, is uh, is due to the, the policy direction in many cases that has come from our federal government over the course of the last four years. What we have uh, here now is a, is a short period of time for uh, our, our federal government, our prime minister, to reset that relationship, to, to reset that relationship through the premier uh, with the province of Saskatchewan. I've asked him to do that. I've put forward three points that we can work on uh, collaboratively together. And uh, I'll await his uh, I'll, I'll await his comments on it, and I and I look forward to sitting down and meeting with him in the near future yeah. on this. Uh, some might suggest that uh, the, the 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 language you're using about frustration and alienation that that might in itself fuel the divisions. What's your response to that? No, the division is being fueled by a federal government that is imposing a carbon tax on the hardworking people of Saskatchewan, the the families uh, and communities uh, right across this province. The 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 frustration is coming from uh, bills that are preventing and our our ability to access markets around the world. I was just in Japan and Korea and Hong Kong, and I heard from from investors uh, that are invested in the industries uh, here in Saskatchewan, the energy industry most particularly, but also others, um, of how we are having trouble accessing uh, these markets around the world, and it's, we're doing it to ourselves. So the frustration uh, that we are feeling in the Prairie Provinces, and I will speak to Saskatchewan specifically, is due to federal government policies, nothing more. All right, uh, Saskatchewan Premier Scott Moe, uh, appreciate your time today again, Premier. Always good to talk to you. Take care. Thank you, Peter.